trying to find a project that will challenge my CAD design skills and as the winter comes I come up with an idea to 3D print a remote controlled snowmobile and it sounds to me like a really cool project so I spent about two weeks on designing it in Fusion 360 and then another few days to print this out and right now I have all the components that I need so let me quickly show you what you need and we'll assemble this because I can't wait to see how it works. Here I have all of the 3D printed components and even that it may seem that there is a lot, it's really not a lot of components for such a project. We have 24 pieces of the truck, some gears, some stuff to make it turn, skids. This front piece is really not as good as I would like to, it was printed like this and there was a lot of support material that is hard to remove so I will just sand it and paint it later. And except for the 3D printed parts we also need some electronics right here. We need a motor, this is a very cheap and popular motor. This will power our snowmobile and to make it run faster I have some gears. We also need a switch, some cables, I'm not sure if I will need the breadboard cables but I have some just in case. We need a LiPo battery, LiPo battery connector, this is a LiPo battery monitor, some cables to connect motor to the controller, also a micro servo motor and a transceiver with a receiver. I almost forgot about some screws, we need M5 screws, M3 screws, M2 screws and M8 screws with washers and nuts. We also need some springs, I have the whole set of springs, but I will only use this one. That's 9 by 35 millimeters. We also need some bearings, big bearings, small bearings, I will put a name of this bearing in the description. I will put some links to these components in the description and I will also put a link to my Thingiverse where you will be able to find all of the STL files. Once we have all of the components, 3D printed parts, metal parts and electronic parts we can start assembling but remember to be gentle because it's really easy to break those PLA parts. Let's start! Right now we have to fix skids to the main body and to do this I'm not going to use screws, I will use just a filament, regular filament that I use on my 3D printer. I will put a piece of filament inside this hole and secure it on both sides with something called, let's say, a screwdriver. I will heat up a screwdriver and press it on both sides so that there will be no way for this piece of filament to go out. And that's exactly the same way how we will connect pieces of track together. No screw, just a filament, it's really simple, reliable and cheap.
is how to connect things without screws using a filament. What we will need? We will need a candle and if you are wondering, yes of course it has to be purple and a screwdriver. Make sure that you are using an old screwdriver because we will melt some plastic with this thing and it's really hard to clean it after that. We need two parts of the track, put them together and put a piece of filament in the hole. Once you have done that, you can grab a screwdriver and heat it up. After a few seconds, grab your screwdriver and push the filament on one side, just a little bit. And now do the same on the other side. This way of connecting parts together is really strong and cheap, so if you are working on a project, maybe try to use a filament instead of screws. And now we have 23 other parts to connect, so let's do this. It looks so awesome, it's really big and it's quite heavy, but that's a good thing. I'm really happy with, with this thing, it's amazing. Right now I have to connect electronics and program it. After the first test it turns out that this motor isn't powerful enough to run it as fast as I wanted to so I had to change the gears right here. Right now the gear ratio is smaller, it will run slightly slower but it should be more powerful so it should run without any problems. Let me also show you the electronics connection right here. Here is the receiver and the servo is connected, the servo that controls these kits is connected straight to the receiver. Another channel of the receiver is connected to this PCB, this custom PCB that I made. And this PCB controls the DC motor back here. There is also a switch between a battery and a PCB so that I can easily turn it on and off and this switch is fixed to the top flap of the main body. And right now I will put all of that inside the main body. I also decided to change the battery from 2S LiPo battery to 3S LiPo battery. It's 7am in the morning and in 6 hours I have to be at school to take a very important exam. But snow is starting to melt so right now I have to test the snowmobile. Let's go!
While designing, I was really afraid that something will not work in this project. You know, there is a lot of components. There is suspension, the track tensioner mechanism. There is a lot of things that can not work, but it turns out that everything is working really fine. The only thing I would complain about in this project is the motor. It's too weak and it can't run the snowmobile as fast as I would like to. So I will try to find a better motor and maybe update this project. If you want to make your own 3D printed snowmobile, check out the link to Thingiverse in the description. I will also put some links to parts that I used. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Happy making, bye!